your pardon I never promised you a rose garden By Christmas I was boiling I could actually feel my temperature rise Gone away is a bluebird Here to stay is a bluebird the perfect hair, that engaging smile, and those dimples. If you turned on your TV in the 70s and 80s, John Davidson was there, a frequent guest on the original Hollywood Squares. On the whole, I would say... Uh, uh. <laughs> Eventually hosting the show years later. The Tonight Show, where he was both a frequent guest and fill-in host for Johnny Carson. Please, Mr. John Davidson. Thank you, everybody. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Ed. A host of one of the first reality shows, That's Incredible. Good evening. I'm John Davidson. Feature films and TV movies. A TV series with Sally Field. Let me get this straight. You can read everybody's mind. Of course not. Oh. To some people. A Las Vegas show. From Hollywood, it's the John Davidson Show. And his own talk show. The star of our show, John Davidson. Plus, guest appearances on just about every show on the air. John Davidson is a singer, recording artist, actor, game show host, talk show host, and now he's adding something new to his entertainment resume, Troubadour. Would you please welcome John Davidson. <laughs> if my song can make you reminisce of some sweet day gone by, then listen to the songbird. John Davidson recently performed at the farm stand in the Tamworth village of Chikorwa. So glad you came out to the farm stand this evening. What brings John to Tamworth? John is now a granite stater. He lives in the small, picturesque town of Sandwich. And, uh, uh, we have Tamworth around the corner and Meredith and, and the Lakes region is so pretty. John and his wife moved to New Hampshire nearly two years ago from the Berkshires. It didn't take him long to channel his inner granite stater. John and Rhonda Rivera Davidson have been married for 34 years. We spent time with John on his 23-acre property he shares with Rhonda and their energetic dog they rescued from Mexico. Go, 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 go. Ah! <laughs> The trademark smile, still there. The feathered brown hair, now replaced by a silver gray ponytail. The nice guy image John portrayed on television, he may have created that persona, but it's not fake. John Davidson is a nice guy. Ta-da, ready? I hit it, I hit it, I hit it, you see it? If only I could tell my 12-year-old self that I played croquet with John Davidson at his house. And by the way, he beat me. You're out of shape for your wicket. You're in trouble. There's anyway. no way I'm going to get my wicket. There. Whoa, whoa. Oh, look at him go. I never played so well. John Davidson was born in Massachusetts. His parents were Baptist preachers, and they moved to New York when he was 13. He attended Denison University in Ohio, where he entered the theater arts program. He thought theater might make him a better minister if he chose to follow in his father's footsteps. It was theater people that got me hooked on theater. And, and uh, so I, I realized that I didn't have enough religion to get it, I, I love doing the sermons. I love getting up in front of people and speaking. I should have realized. I don't want to go visit people in hospitals or do funerals. And it's the entertainer in you. This the entertainer. With a degree in theater arts, John headed to New York, where he landed a Broadway role at age 23. Everyone else looked like Al Pacino or Robert De Niro. They're real street people. And I was, you know, we had a thing called the Denison Hello. Everybody said hi to, hi, hi, hi. Everybody was smiling. Actors in New York didn't smile. He 
admits he used his boyishly handsome and wholesome looks to create a clean-cut image. Hiya, hiya, hiya. I'm John Davidson, and welcome to the Craft Summer Music Hall. Hey, have we got some surprises for you tonight. I've cheated. I've used this smile and these ridiculous holes on my cheeks to get, to, to get parts. I have. Number one, if you had to compare yourself with a food, what would it be? Oh, that's easy, Annie. Hogs jowls. Yes! I was 23, 24, just got out of college, and uh, she was so nice to me. The same producer who discovered Cal Burnett Politics spotted John on Broadway. And nobody else. You know, he said a lot of people are spears. Tony Bennett, he just does one thing, one prom. He said, you could be a pitchfork. He said, I'm going to show you, you know, you're already taking acting lessons in your theater major, great. We're going to do a little tap and soft shoe, we're going to study. You could maybe do a soap opera, you could host a variety show. Beauty pageants? Sure, tell them, of course you host beauty pageants. Uh, uh, whatever. Uh, game shows that came along later, but uh, you, you've got to develop this instrument, John Davidson. He taught me how to be not Curly in Oklahoma, but to be the character of John Davidson, to play that role. And he helped me see that as a role. Despite John's wide array of talents, he acknowledges there was a lack of confidence behind that million dollar smile. Because most of us as actors, we're basically shy and when we don't, I think, and we don't think that we're worthy of getting on stage. But if you consider your character as a, as a role, then you can get on set. You say, well, why will people want to see me? Who would want to see me? Well, no, but I'll create a character called John Davidson. John's current show combines music, singing, his gift of storytelling, and humor. Lots of self-deprecating humor, poking fun at himself and his age. I'm in my 70s. Where did all my muscles go? I'm in my 70s. I can get my blood to flow. Girls used to scream. They used to call me a fox. Now they call me grandpa. And I'm wearing orthopedic socks because I'm in my 70s. For an entertainer who has done just about everything, from stage to screen to television, John seems humbled by the memories these folks have of his career. Hi, thanks for coming. Hey, great show. I enjoyed it. Thanks. He admits he's a bit nervous navigating New Hampshire audiences. I'm not really... I'm still trying to figure out how to entertain New Hampshire people. Because they, there's a uniqueness here. And I love it. John has been on the road steadily for the past couple of years, so he's just now beginning to embrace country living in New Hampshire. John played the wizard in the North American tour of Wicked, also traveling with the national tour of Finding Neverland, playing a dual role of Captain Hook and Charles Froman. Down through the ages, white men sages, searching for knowledge they plunder. At home, John's basement is his rehearsal space. This pair of, well, they are John's backup singers. Gives you a hint about his sense of humor, right? He calls them... Ladies and gentlemen, my backup singers, the inflatables. Yes, you heard correctly. They no longer go on the road. The right decision as they really don't add too much to the show. You understand how I'm doing it, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. They don't really sing, you know. Yeah. 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 I wasn't sure. <laughs> Old movie and theater posters and memorabilia he has collected over his long career. That's from Family Band. That was the second Disney film that came out in uh, uh, like '68. stage of his life, John Davidson remains a work in progress. In the world of entertainment, there isn't much he has not done. But he recently looked to his son for advice on how to write the next chapter in his life story. Listen to that fire in your heart and get that second wind. Don't start out running. You can't. Start out walking forward. One step at a time writing your own story. 
You've got to write your own story. John Davidson's story has brought him back to New England, to his roots, and his new home in New Hampshire. The lakes region is incredible. I thought it was just a lake. Winnipesaukee is like, you can go to China and, and still be in Winnipesaukee. I mean, seriously, and then Squam is so sweet, you know, and a little small, and it has everything. There's so much to do in New Hampshire. I'm looking forward to spending the rest of my life here. I just love it. Coming up next... Cause after laughs and tears and all those years... More music from the farm stand in Chikorwa. John Davidson sings a love song he wrote for his wife, Rhonda. 